this video, I will demonstrate how to solve a jigsaw puzzle using GIMP. Here we have a jigsaw puzzle from Puzzle Boat 6. First, I'll use the Windows snipping uh, tool to um, take a screenshot of a set of jigsaw puzzle pieces. I'll copy this into GIMP. And now, once it's in GIMP, um, I can break these up into individual pieces. First, I'll use the fuzzy select tool to delete the background. Once I've done that, I want to create a separate layer for each piece. To do that, I can use the... Uh, uh, to do that, I can do, use the, uh, the free select tool to uh, select a piece. And then once I've selected it, I can um, float it into a new layer and then uh, create a new layer from that uh, selection. And once I've done that, I can move this piece around using the uh, move tool. So now I have the separate piece. Um, and I can go back to the uh, original layer and repeat the same process for all the other pieces. Uh, since you'll be doing this a lot, it's handy to use the shortcuts. So I'll use R to switch to the uh, rectangular select tool. Control shift L to float the selection and control shift N to create the new layer. I can switch to the move tool by pressing M and now I can move this piece around. Um, to go back to the uh, bottom layer, I can either click the bottom layer or I can just press uh, page down. And now I can repeat this process with the remaining pieces. Okay. Uh, so down here, two pieces that are very close to one another and using just a rectangular select tool directly uh, won't be that effective because it'll include the other piece as well. So for a case like this, uh, we'll use the um, lasso tool or uh, the free select tool uh, and then uh, draw a freeform uh, bounding uh, shape around it. So you just select the points around it. And again, you don't need to be super accurate um, uh, because uh, there's a transparent background. Uh, and if you uh, made a mistake, uh, you should be able to adjust these uh, corners uh, like so. And once you have your selection, again, Control Shift L, Control Shift N, and then you can now move this selection around. And you repeat this with all the remaining pieces and eventually every piece will be in some own layer, and then you can easily start uh, moving the pieces around and solving the jigsaw puzzle. All right, uh, that's a quick demo on how to solve jigsaw puzzles uh, in GIMP. Thanks.